right, let's get this shit started. I be the sample man, and this is Super Paper Mario. Hello, little person. Do you want to come on the elevator with me? Hmm, bad things could happen. Ah, Mario loves midgets, obviously. He's like, I love midgets. Midgets are the way. The heart pillar is this way. Okay. Come on, please. Okay. Oh, what do you think you are? Amanda from the Amanda Show? Come on, please. Amanda, please. Jesus. I mean, come on, man. What the hell? This is the heart pillar. Oh, it's got a heart shape. What a, what a surprise. Now get close and place the pure heart. You want me to place my pure heart in here? Ooh. Good lord. Kind of, kind of crazy. And now Mario looks at Wonder at a big giant block. He's like, whoa, what is that? It's giant white. And it's spinning and it's spinning place and there's weird shit going on. Good lord. What's going on here? What is going on here? Whoa, it's drawing. Oh, there's a red door there. There's a red door. Just what we need. Whoa. Crazy. Well done. I didn't do nothing. Now let's return to Murdoch. Uh, sure. Why not? I need to... Hi there, Mr. Blue. What do you have to say? Huh? Weird thing in the sky. Wasn't there yesterday. Did a cloud blow up? And why are you jiggling on top of me? That's kind of weird. Huh? What am I talking about? If a cloud blew up, we'd be wet, right? <laughs> hello, hello, little midget person. Hey, you know anything about that weird black stuff in the sky? Not really. Why are you poking me in the stomach with your nose? It looks kind of scary, but I don't know. I don't know what it is. You need to go back to school and learn English, bitch. Good lord. All right, so let's go on to the elevator. Holy crap. Don't knows what it is. Oh Lord, my God! And there's the cute little midget girl. Yes. Hello, cute little midget girl. Oh, you look really silly. Where are you from, Mister? <laughs> she hates me. She hates me. Oh God. She called me silly. Perhaps you should strike this block before we head back to Merlin. How about no? Hi there, baby. Hi, you. Oh, hello there. Is this your first time in Flipside? Yeah. I need someone to show me around town, wink wink. We don't get many visitors, so I'm ever so glad I got to meet you. Take care. Yeah, Jiggle. Yeah. What you have to say? Mm, this town's so peaceful if you ask me. That's all you can really ask out of life. Ah, uh, philosophical. I agree! So let's enter this elevator with Tippy. Hello there, Tippy. You're using up my oxygen, just saying, you know. I, I get very claustrophobic inside of elevators. <gasps> oh my. Just saying. Ah, uh, the two of you return. Uh, oh, hello, sir, Stash. Look, a door has appeared. Oh, thanks, Captain Obvious. This dimensional door was made to lead the, pure, the hero to another pure heart. Yeah, somewhere beyond this door lies one of the seven other pure hearts. Tippy, you must use your power to help Mario find this pure heart and return here. Oh, okay. Of course. And Mario, I have something to give you that will aid you on your journey. Oh, you're going to give me something? What the hell are you doing? A magic pipe that returns you to flip side from afar. It's called a return pipe. Hell yeah. With this, you will be able to return to flip side from anywhere in the universe. Ah, huh. so, I, so I don't have to use an airline and pay baggage fees. Use it whenever you feel you must return in a hurry. Ah, beautiful. To use your return pipe, just go to important things on the menu screen. Just remember that in some areas, the signal from flip side might not reach. Uh, okay. The late prognosticus foretells that the hero will meet a dimension governor. 
and from him, the hero will learn the dimensional technique. I am almost certain this refers to my friend, the Flip Wizard Bestovius. So go now through this door and seek out Bestovius. Okay. Well, let's get going. Don't tell me what to do. Good lord, let's enter this door. I didn't take an order from you there, Tippy. <coughs> what the hell is going on here? Blah, blah. The void has been ripped in the dimension of fabric. Oh, great. Great. Yes, Count Blackest, please. All is gone is foretold in the dark prognosticus. Now it's just a matter of time until all worlds meet their demise. Black. You know, by shooting off nuclear weapons in December 21st, 2012. Wow, that's just super count. Yeah, first you'll erase all these naughty worlds. Naughty worlds? Ooh. And then you're gonna build a perfect world without war and all that other icky stuff. Uh, sure? Yes, yes, no one likes the icky stuff. Yes, a perfect world. Sounds magical. Nah, uh, like Harry Potter world. Ah, uh, I can hardly stand the wait. Uh, sorry I'm late. Uh, what? Uh, what? What the hell? Holy crap. What in blazing bog rats? How'd I beat myself here? What's going on? Oh god. Me, 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 me. Oh no chunks. You big silly. Did you over sleep or something? That kinda of look that sounds weird from that. I guess it's kinda of hard to be on time though. When you've got muscles instead of brains. <laughs> hey! You can't fool me with that crazy shape shifting hooligan to RE! It's Mimi in it! Show a little respect for the count. You can't go up our own his face, lass! Oh god. <laughs> How delightful, Mimi. Almost as dapper as Count Black. Stop referring to yourself in third person! Oh god. Oh god, thanks, Count. With you around, it's nothing but big smiles all the time. Oh, Mimi is flirting with the cow. Hanging out with the cow. That's my idea of a perfect world. Oh, God. And here I thought Mimi's ideal world was a gem-filled pool with hunky lifeguards. Well, what? I could be your hunky lifeguard. Oh, God. What? Ah! Hey, the Mencho, have you been reading my diary? I mean, um, never mind. Oh god, now she's done me with lifeguards and pool boys, good lord. <laughs> well, different strokes for different minions. Oh god. After these rotten worlds are ended, Count Black will make all your dreams come true. Oh god, for, for Mimi there, it's a be raining man. Oh god. But for that to happen, we must follow the instructions of the dog prognosticus. Yeah, about that. Just, uh, FYI, I've got an urgent memo for your inbox. Oh, God. Apparently, there's been some unimproved interdimensional activity lately. Yeah. I'm thinking it's the hero of prophecy. We're gonna need an action plan for this guy. Uh, yeah. An interdimensional interloper. And possibly the hero. You are sure of it, Nastasia? Nastasia? Nastasia, maybe? I don't know your name! Interesting, mused Count Black. We must put an end to this nuisance. Try to buy him out! Count Black! Oh god. Let me get this right in me brain. The hero Nastasia is going on about. He your enemy? Then you gotta cut me loose on him. You gotta. I'll give him a nice taste of oh, oh chunks. Ah, I don't wanna taste you! Ah! Very well, oh chunks. 
I'll leave the hero chunking to you. Do not fail, Count Black. You can count on me now. I'll rain down like a fat thunderstorm, I swear it. A fat thunderstorm? Good lord. Oh god, look how it's raining fat people! Mimi Dementia, you should tag along. You could witness a proper chunking. Oh god. He wants to improve Mimi. I do enjoy good chunking, as what he does to me every night. Well, what? Well then. I believe I'll head out as well. Oh god. <laughs> so, hero, you would defy Count Black. Then hurry, for your world's end draws near. <laughs> Black! Now, uh, that's pretty damn evil there, Count Black, not going to lie. Mario was called upon once again to save the world. No small task, not for a very large man. Could he prevent Count Black from pulling off his sinister plot? Would Mario reunite with Princess Peach and have beautiful babies together? A truly interdimensional adventure was about to begin! Oh god. Oh, whoa, whoa spinning letters! Chapter 1-1! The adventure unfolds! Oh god. The adventure's unfolding a paper pun! Oh, Lord, oh, hey, look at this. This is looking pretty damn cool. This is looking pretty damn cool. Whatever, bouncing lines. Whoa, it's getting colorful. Flowers are springing up. Red door appears. Damn. I feel the pure heart, but it's still far from you. No. Merlin told us to find his friend Bastovius to learn that dimensional technique. We better go find him. Yeah. Yeah. One more thing. If you want to learn about anything, just use my power. I know about many things. Oh, thanks, there. Simply point your Wiimote at the screen and Tippy will focus on where you point. I'm talking about myself in third person. Then just press A over anything framed in red to hear more about it. Feel free to ask Tippy myself about anything or anyone you want. Uh, sure, whatever you say there, Tippy. You're talking about yourself in third person, I'm running away from you! Good lord. Oh my lord. Whoa. It just loaded. This is the mushroom. Grab these to recover HP. Okay. No, nah, don't do that. Okay. Nah, hey! Don't fall down there, Mario. Good lord. There we go. Do a nice action command. Jump over here. I gotta go down a pond! Tippy, you already beat me down there, you stupid bitch! You're done, take all my riches! Good lord. Let's open this. And we got a shroom shake! A healthy drink, restores 10 HP and cures poison. Mario's been needing to go on these, uh, that freaking diet. Holy crap, he's on a totally liquid diet. Now his, now his fan is made out of water. You know? Take that! Take that! Great! I know, I am great. Alright. And here's the save block. We'll stop here there, guys. See you guys next time for some more fun in action with me, the Sample Man. And we'll go into that house right there and have some crazy fun. Hell yeah! Nothing like breaking and entering.